last week. Uh, North Carolina State won the game 34-6. to um, ECU is scheduled to play its home opener Saturday against Gardner-Webb at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium in Greenville, scheduled for 6 p.m. Eastern on ESPN3. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call this morning. If you just take a minute to tie up the game against NC State, uh, and we expect to see you as you uh, open at home on Saturday against Gardner-Webb. Well, obviously, uh, <clears throat> disappointed not to get the win this weekend uh, there in Raleigh. And, uh, you know, it's a game that, uh, you know, it's our fan bases and, and both of our rosters, uh, you know, get get pretty excited about uh, a lot of history between the two programs. So uh, the kids were excited to play. Uh, thought we'd come out and played, uh, started off pretty hot and, uh and really uh, had a great opening drive, uh, and unfortunately, you know, the turnover going into the end zone took away what was a, you know, a 13-play, 75-yard drive that uh, was exactly the way we wanted to start out on the day. Um, and I do think that maybe took a little bit of wind out of our sails, but uh, you know, we were able to play, uh, you know, very competitively, uh, you know, most of the first half, uh, but just weren't able to get into the end zone. And uh, you know, obviously, as the game went on. Uh, you know they, uh, you know, a veteran defense uh, there by NC State uh, took advantage of some of the mistakes that we made, uh, and you know we've got to do a good job of correcting those this week and getting ready for this weekend. So excited to be home uh, back in uh, Daddy Ficklin Stadium. Be my first, uh, my first game in Daddy Ficklin Stadium as the uh, home coach. So uh, excited for that and uh, expecting a, a big crowd and uh, you know Coach McRae and uh, his team. Uh, you know, played very well against Charlotte last uh, Thursday night. They've had a few extra days of preparation, uh, and so I would expect them to be excited to play this Saturday, and it should be a great matchup. Three questions for Coach Mike Houston, please. Hit star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. We'll now take our first question from Stephen Igo hoist, from Hoist Colors. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Hey, Coach, I know you touched on it after the game, but after watching the film with the two true freshman corners getting a lot of snaps, uh, McMillan and Fleming, what were kind of your, your thoughts on their performance? You know, I, th- I thought both of them played well. I thought Jaquan, especially with the number of reps that he played, uh, you know, really held his own. Uh, and, you know, he, you know, they came at him a little bit there in the second half, but, uh, you know, he didn't back down from them. Uh, and so I was very pleased. You know, it was you know maybe a little bit of a concern going into the ball game, playing those young kids there. Uh, but I think they showed uh, Saturday why we're so excited about them. You know, they're going to be really good plays, players for us down the road, and uh, they're going to be guys that are going to play a lot of snaps for us right now. And you guys obviously announced before the game uh, the Colby Gore suspension. Do you expect to have him back this week? And also, uh, I noticed Nolan Johnson didn't dress. Is is he available uh, going forward as well? I don't really want to comment a whole lot on roster stuff uh, right now. So uh, we'll see how everything shakes out as the week goes on. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. And now take our next question from Ronnie Woodward of Greenville Daily Reflector. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Hey Mike, um, just wondering when you when you watched the tape, uh, did you notice Holton? You mentioned the turnovers earlier. Did was it? Did he have a lack of a, maybe aggression or, or intensity, or did his mood or, or kind of demeanor you think change at all from those turnovers, or, or no? No, I didn't think so. I mean, I, I think Holton is obviously an extremely competitive player, uh, and he has a you know a high expectation for the way um, you know he, he performs on the field. Uh, and I wouldn't want him any other way. Uh, but I think he he does have that uh, you know toughness about him that you know not a whole lot phases him. And so uh, I think he's very motivated uh, to play better. Uh, I think he knows that he is certainly capable of performing at a much higher level, um, and I'm sure he will. So uh, you know nobody nobody feels worse about that uh, that first turnover that he does. And uh, you know he's. Uh, None of us are perfect. We'll make mistakes from time to time, but you know, I, I would, I would, I would doubt he'll make that mistake very often. Okay, and one thing, um, I don't think we asked this Saturday. Kind of the other side of it. Just what were your thoughts of of Matt McKay and kind of his performance and his first start for NC State? He seemed to to really kind of settle in as the game progressed there on Saturday. Yeah, I thought he played really well. Um, you know, as I as I'd spoken, uh, you know, last week, 
you know, watching him with the spring practice uh, reps last spring, uh, I thought he'd improved uh, a good bit since the fall. Um, I thought he was very composed in the pocket. I thought that they had a good plan to not put too much on him, uh, but really just put him in a situation to where he just had to make the right decisions uh, and distribute the ball properly, which I thought he did a good job of. So uh, I think a really solid performance. But, you know, he's not a rookie. You know, he is an older kid. Uh, and that was the thing I commented on post game was, you know, when, you're, when your roster is made up of a bunch of redshirt seniors, redshirt juniors, redshirt sophomores, uh, you know, you're going to have guys that even though it may be in a first time starting situation, uh, they have significant experience in the program. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. And do we have any other questions for Coach Mike Houston, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Coach, appreciate you giving us a few minutes this morning. Look forward to talking to you once again next Monday.